basic science is central to the pursuit of science and <coughs> incidentally central to our lives because as soon as we open our eyes we start doing basic science trying to find out what is solid matter, what is liquid matter, what is real, what is imaginary. Uh, and that process of discovery uh, is uh, persistent and absolutely vital to the progress of science as it is vital to a life well led. Well, the government funding I've had throughout my career has been absolutely vital and it began by giving, being given on very enlightened terms. I was told, uh, don't spend a lot of money, but make a big discovery. Uh, I didn't make a very big discovery. Uh, I, was, I didn't spend much money. I was given freedom. Uh, the notion was, you can't tell somebody what to discover. If they knew, it wouldn't be discovery. And so give them freedom to, so to speak, follow the contours of the land. After all, what are they doing? They're trying to uncover the landscape of nature in a way it's not been uncovered before. Give them freedom to do it and then see whether they did it uh, and are progressing well. Well, we have an extraordinary opportunity. Uh, it's very rare, in fact, almost unheard of, to have a high-level commission uh, probing into fundamental science. And it's much to the credit of our Minister of Science to realize that we needed such an investigation. And with the Naylor Report, we have a very thoroughgoing one, 300 pages worth, and it has a very clear recommendation, which is that we have to put more resources into basic science. Otherwise, we will and continue to lag behind, and uh, we can't afford to do that.